is Survivor. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Hello. Uh, Brent, you yes. there? You on the line? Hi, guys. We're here, guys. We're here. Married at first sight, Brent and Ella have been stirring up dating rumors for some time now. However, the two insist they are just friends. At this point in time, right now, yes, we are just friends right now. How? Fitzy and Uber didn't buy this charade, and so they played Cupid. They sent Brent and Ella on a romantic weekend away to Port Douglas in hopes that something more would blossom from these two lovebirds. So, so we're putting you guys on the spot now. You didn't know what you were coming on for, but would you guys consider just a holiday? I mean, I would. Why not? Ella? Yeah, I'm down. As Ella and Brent approached their gate for their flight on Friday last week, the rumoured lovebirds were caught chatting warmly. And we're going to Port Douglas. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've never been. I'm excited to hang out with Brent and just have some fun. How sexy and mysterious. Both Ella and Brent were excited to spend some quality time together. And so was Team Brella. We're excited for them too. Yeah. I'm feeling excited actually. A nice little holiday away will be good. Um, we've discussed that we're gonna really try to enjoy it, get away from everything. Uh, Ella suggested that we spend time without our phones and switching off from the world. I was like, it's a pretty good idea. This is gonna be good. Ella reveals that the getaway would be their first date or perhaps it will feel like their first date. Yeah, this is the first time we've probably ever hung out just me and him like this. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure once we get there and like when we go out for dinner, that might feel like it's a bit of a date. Brent went on to reveal how he feels about Ella and he revealed Brella's timeline when everything began for him. I've always liked and respected Ella, always. Uh, and it wasn't until, I guess, you know, maybe a month ago that we really started spending time together and, you know, built a real connection. And in case you're not a couch potato, Ella reveals how the first kiss with Brent was. Yes, I have kissed him on the lips one time. <laughs> how was it? It was fun, drunk and great. <laughs> and for the first time since I've been reporting on Brella, Brent went on to confirm the kiss. Yes, since it's out there we did. We shared a kiss uh, on Ella's birthday at Eros. Um, it was good, it was nice in front of all the family and friends. To Team Brella. Team Brella on vacay. <laughs> Ella's replying to all her fans. Um, it's about time she gave them some love. I don't want to make it weird. Prince and Ella, you guys can do better than this. Can y'all please inject some romance? We came for the romance. What are you doing? We're at a spa. We're doing a little couple's room. All right. Okay. <laughs> First couple's massage I've ever had. There you go. See, you heard it here first. First couple's massage ever. I'm like, thank you, Sheridan. It's so romantic. <laughs> While these two were having a magical time together, Tamara and Mitch were all over Instagram celebrating Tamara's birthday. Funny thing is that Jackson used to be a stripper and that is okay, whereas Dominica used to have an OnlyFans account and that is not okay. Liv, these are double standards that don't make sense. So I forgot to give Tamara a present, so I gave her Jackson. Uh, Jack used to be a stripper. What? Jack used to be a stripper. What? Stripper. It's a secret. Jack used to be a stripper. What? So I gave her Jackson. That ain't right. Jack used to be a stripper. That ain't right. So I think he gave her probably the clumsy slap dance. Damn. Jackie. Now back to Mitch and Tamara. Mitch has been all over social media for the past couple of days, taking photos left, right and center. Isn't he camera shy? Did his camera shyness just go away? Did it vanish? Let's get back to Brenton Ella. <coughs> <coughs> hey. <laughs> a toast to us, then to fix and whip then to what if. Um, and anyone, and Nova. And Brella. And Team Brella. Yeah. Cheers to Team Brella indeed. The next morning, the two lovebirds woke up with a romantic love is in the air type of glow. I'm going to call it that, okay? Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Yeah, so we got in late last night. 
just came to bed, had a good sleep. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. A bit like that. Yeah, not a bad experience. But also, Jensa, thank you for leaving us alone. Um, Some privacy. Yeah, it was... A few days away, it was really nice. Something we needed. With a dozen of snaps captured at the airport on their return, Brent and Ella looked so much like a couple as they strolled through the terminal of the airport. Upon their return, Brent and Ella updated Fitzy and Whipper of the pair's relationship status. Do you know the best thing about this is there wasn't one awkward conversation. Totally there wasn't awful. one awkward moment. Mm. We've just spoken honestly. We've yeah. um, just been really honest and open about everything. Fitzy and Whipper wanted the freshest tea. They didn't want the PR answer. What really went down? Did they hook up? Did they kiss? How? What? What happened? Thing, guys. Okay. Yes, there's, there's that. So we, we have, have kissed, guys. Oh, okay. yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they initiated it. I did. Oh. Oh. Ella revealed she initiated the kiss, adding... Brent, you <laughs> I just grabbed ball. his face. She did. <laughs> I she did. She actually grabbed my head and no. went, yeah, so... Wow. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the second kiss Ella has initiated. I don't blame her. I would also initiate kisses upon kisses if I were that close to Brent. And Mama Ding also just pecked him on the face. Now, Couch Potatoes, how you feel about these two... I like how Ella is upgrading Brent, removing him from the friend zone and into something more romantic. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.